Hi everybody, I'm back again with this live show. Today I really want to talk to you about how the year 2018 is getting closed. We are moving towards 2019. And I want to speak to all of you about something which is very important is reflection. Reflection is very, very important when it comes to your career planning. We get so obsessed with our day-to-day -day working, our day-to-day -day, uh, running of life. We don't really pause and reflect. How about we stop for the next four days? We reflect how our 2018 was, you know, in terms of your career goals. What were your hits? What were your misses? It will be amazing, you know, if you can take some time out, sit down for 10 minutes, write it down. Yes, write it down. Take a pen and paper or take a phone memo. Write it down five biggest hit of yours in terms of your career of 2018. And write it down your five biggest misses, disappointment in your careers for 2018. It could be as small as, you know, you, as big as it could be, you know, you wanted to get a promotion or as uh, big as, you know, you wanted to be topper in your class versus as small as uh, you wanted to get, say, 10 on 10 on a school quiz, you know, a class quiz, or you wanted to buy something out of your own pocket money, it could be as big or small. But I urge you to write maybe five of your biggest career hits of 2018 and five of your career misses of 2018. Spend next four days in doing this, whatever you're doing, however busy you are. You know, you might be a working professional, you might be a parent, you might be a student. And yes, if you're a parent, why don't you do this exercise along with your kid, you know? Ask your kid to write, ask your child to write five biggest hits and five biggest mess. Sit down with them, you know, if it requires, sit down with them, help them do this exercise. And most importantly, you know, for 2018, why don't we resolve something to start with, you know? Have a goal, have a goal for 2019. Plan it before. This goal could be point wise. This goal could be in pointers one, two, three goals. Just don't have a big resolution, a big goal. I don't call it resolution, I call it goal. New Year resolutions are very, very common, but I say you have a career goal for 2019. You know? Decide it for yourself what is this career goal. Just don't make it one career goal. Have two, three career goals, small realistic goals which you want to achieve, which you think you can achieve. Don't make it super ambitious, but once you write it down, stick to it. And preferably on 2019, 1st January, if you can stick a whiteboard in your study room, work table, write down those goals of yours. You know, don't erase it. Maybe if you have sticky notes, put down sticky notes. Let those goals be seen. Usually we make New Year resolutions, we make our goals and we just forget about it. You know, we are very excited about to talk about it the first few weeks of January because we are fresh into the year and we totally forget about it by the time we come to 2018. So I want all of you to have by on 1st Jan, maybe, you know, you should set up a whiteboard, you should set up a bulletin board, have a sticky note, stick it in public view, you know, whatever your goals are. It is very, very important you do this in a public view because it makes you accountable. I don't want you to, I mean, if you want to make it a post Facebook post out of your resolution, great, do it, but still if your Facebook post will scroll down at the bottom next in after few posts you made. So have it stuck, maybe something like what you can see, I have all these sticky notes around at my back, you know, something. So have these sticky notes and written in your whiteboard, have it till December 31st, 2019. No. In public, we will make yourself accountable towards the goals. Figure it out, you know, do it, don't forget it. So I think uh, my goals and my resolution for 2019 is that I'm getting on live on Facebook 
every week from 10 to 15 to 20 minutes where I'll be talking about one very important point, you know, one very important thing which I knew when I was in school or college, you know, and something which I'll be sharing with all of you, uh, which, which could be life changing in terms of your careers. It could be about how you manage your finance in terms of your careers or how you can help your siblings, your cousins, your sisters, or your kids, you know, for that matter. So I'll be doing this. I think my resolution is that be not disciplined about getting into my live streaming for the next uh, year, where I'll be sharing some very important career planning tips. Uh, uh, this would be based on life skills. This will be based on how to make your to-do list, how to do goal setting, how to do networking skills, how to uh, make your child responsible, what are small activities you'll be doing. So this is my goal you know, for 2019. This is my resolution for 2019. Let's see how your resolutions turn out to be. I love to hear in the comment section about your resolutions. I love to hear about your reflections, your hits and misses of 2018. So let me reiterate, why don't we pause for next four days? Why don't we reflect upon our hits and misses of careers of 2018? And also reflect upon what do we want into 2019? Let's have a goal for 2019, put it in your public view, put it on a whiteboard or bulletin board, let the world see, let your family see these are your goal so that they can help you achieve it. This is what I want all of you to do it and this is what I'll be doing for myself, you know. So once I write down my hits and misses for 2018, I'll be posting and sharing with all of you and I really look forward that you send me your hits and misses and I'll also share my goal setting as I mentioned that you know I'll be doing more of live videos where I'll be sharing career planning tips uh, for students yeah so have great uh, you know the remaining days of 2018 I'm really excited about it we are stepping into new year we are ringing into a new year I'm super excited about what life's has stored in for all of us and i'm sure you will have a good good time for your remaining 2018 and don't be disappointed if things really didn't work out in your career as you wanted if you had your startup if you had your business if you were writing a competitive exam or if you were planning to get into you know some of your best colleges if you could not make it life is not an end you know if you are not able to get through all these things if you wanted in a stipulated time Let's work and strive towards the next things, you know, you can do. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining in. We'd love to hear from you. Bye.